Good evening everyone and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekender Show. As you know I'm Mal Lee, your host for this evening. Hope everyone is keeping fine out there and you've all been doing your activities. What I mean by that is I hope you've got all your Christmas shopping done uh, and you're shopping for the weekend and also you've enjoyed your grassroots football. Well we certainly did, we were out and about today at the North Liverpool JFL. Obviously everyone seemed to be bubbly. It was um, coldish um, but dry which you can't thank the weather enough at the moment touch wood because we're getting some football in without the kids getting soaked and wet and it's great when you've got six year olds out there as well because uh, they were running around they keep keeping warm and they had smiles on their faces because the simple thing is we actually won our first game today and that's what it's all about we didn't get over excited they were going down 2-1 i think in the game and then they just got themselves together started playing a little bit and it was two teams who were battling really really well to be honest you know um, and it could have gone either way two teams just starting off you could see them at the same level and it could have, as i say it could have gone either way it was great it's enjoyable and even at six years of age those kids don't listen to you no matter what you show to them um, but uh, hey ho they all enjoyed it. the parents enjoyed it we didn't get over excited that's what it's all about and all the kids shook hands at the end and especially with the referee as well because the referee was only young and had a great game himself um, what more could you say he had nothing to do he was just um, going on with things and the kids were just enjoying themselves and that's what it's all about we give a little man or match ward at the very end of the game um, I think I'll just get my phone there because I know what's going to happen it's going to ring and I'll be one of those straight through the um there we go straight through on <laughs> answering the phone i've got my cup of tea i've had a good day today what more could i ask for yes um, it's nice to get a little win under your belt it makes the kids feel a little bit happy knowing that they can do that and um, knowing um I've, you know you've got to feel sorry for the other team because as they said to me they didn't they hadn't won a game and they've only scored one but you know they scored today against us and that was great because two teams came together who probably were on the as we said on the same level and it was good to see and yeah what more could we ask for it, it's always nice we've got tougher games tougher games ahead we know that you know a long long way to go but it's what development is all about and it excites me because i know the kids are improving we took these kids who were only one 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 player who'd really kicked a ball before and um, no two should I say word of a lie but they hadn't been really in teams and it was the first ever team together so we just basically got kids from a park you know all come together we weren't bothered about the development of football or the way they were playing we we just wanted to get them in and I'll go back to that the development of football we are bothered with but we wanted to do it from scratch um, and I'm doing a little bit of an experiment as well, not on the, the, the kids' side of things, you know, it's, it's just in the league side of things and with our two teams, our eight-year-olds and seven-year-olds or under-eights, under-sevens, and there's a difference. And towards the end of the season, I'm going to tell you what the experiment is all about. Um, but that is one massive experiment as well because we really do talk to the teams, we talk to the parents and make sure that they are abiding by the laws and if we hear them too much going towards the referee then obviously we will stop them and um, you've just got to carry on if decisions are made decisions are made you can't do a thing about it and um, so we just get on with it and and that's the way it is let the referee referee let them officiate and let them enjoy themselves as they referee and officiate our children because they're only developing their skills as well they're learning they like good um, attitudes from managers going towards them and I think the referee really enjoyed himself today as well you know no one's pulled them up on any mistakes uh, there was one or two but hey ho let them make the mistakes they're going to develop they're going to learn and they need a little bit of encouragement as well so what more could we ask for anyway the game flows and um, we enjoyed it the ref enjoyed it and the other team enjoyed it as well I'm not too sure what I'm allowed to um, Mentioned the other team, but I think I am. I think I am. Um, I'm just going to let you know anyway what I'm doing on this one. You know where I'm coming from. 
it's the um, well, let's give them a little mention because as I say the team were absolutely superb and the kids as well and they were all enjoying themselves um, and we enjoyed ourselves I'll just get you the team now and it was Davin Hill Destroyers there you go Davin Hill Destroyers under 7s and DXTL lines what more could we ask for under 7s all enjoying themselves and it was a little bit of a, a kid clash but you could make your own team out everyone knew their own team and it didn't phase anyone um, there was no colour class, the referee was okay and the two managers were okay and we just enjoyed it, we really really did so well done to all our parents as well, big thank you to them and the Davenhill parents all mixing together, there was nothing untowards going on towards the referee, yeah one or two shouts you know what I mean to the referee and then you know, when I look the, the heads go down, like, they know, they know it's all about that we've just got to concentrate on what the kids are doing on the field of play and you know when you're shouting to them, you, you have to shout louder than you normally do for them to listen to you, to concentrate, because they're, they're looking elsewhere and you've got to try and get them focused. It's funny half the time, you know what I mean, then they come back and I've got one. Oh, Sophie as well, Sophie will tell you, great. And every time he's there with me, it's coach, coach. I'm laughing, I, honest to God, it, that's all he says to me, coach, coach. <laughs> <laughs> so you let them go how many of you out there I'll get your kids calling your coach when you don't get them they just brought it up themselves they've been watching films and it's coach and you just leave them to and I can't stop smiling every time but you know what he's a cracking little kid as well Audie. he really is honestly um, they all are they all are in the team and they need to develop they've all got their own personalities as kids do and honestly um, I'm one or two of them uh, we don't mind saying uh, suffer with autism so we've got that and you know it's harder to coach them it's hard for them to concentrate and listen as to what's going on as well and um, what we've got to bear and grin with that so um, it's nice because not many teams will take children on like that because it's not that they won't it's just that they're a little bit afraid and um, how, how to control them but I think we've got them to a T I think they understand the way we go and um, yeah and it works so well done to Club DXTL Lions and Davin Hill Destroyers as well. Well done to you. And we've taken our numbers, swapped numbers, because uh, Lee wants a friendly now. He said it's great, we've got on the same level and we can play each other and get used to playing each other um, and give the kids a little friendly, which is good. And I'm looking forward to that. So there you go. What more could we ask for? And any other teams today, well done, because we were also watching and monitoring respect. Um, as you saw, the, the title of our post tonight, one uh, of our young ambassadors, a referee, um, was subject to a little bit of abuse from a parent um, last weekend, which was upsetting for the referee and the family. Anyway, it's all been resolved, but not in a sense where it's resolved where we've got um, the young referee back into referee after a week, which we're over the moon with. Nothing scared him off. We're happy with that as well. And obviously we monitored situations today talking and the relaxation was there and there were good games so yeah no problems whatsoever loads of respect well done to the North Liverpool GFL today um, and if there's anything that goes on the committee will deal with that very very quickly indeed rather than the manager dealing with it um, the committees take charge so um, well done to all the referees once again young referees plenty of them and doing a fine job Yes, you know, they've got to get things right. As I say, referees, they're there, they all make mistakes. We all make mistakes our, ourselves because I'm looking. Do you know what? Honestly, it's the hardest thing in the world when you're looking and you're trying to concentrate on running a team as well. But you've also got to get them with equal time. And I've come up with a, a devised little system. Over the season, every child will get equal playing time. And the parents are made up with it. And it worked. And we put it into perspective today with our new captain, well done, um, Jacob. He was over the moon, he's gotten a winning streak there with them. The armband has been uh, handed over and the trophy, so uh, it's Alfie who got man of the match and he will be our captain next week. So as I say, I mentioned to all, all of the kids as well, um, they, were, they were fantastic and we'll, we'll just give you, you know, what more could we ask for except the kids being happy. Yes, and many teams looking out there as well today, they're all happy, the parents are all in a good mood. And they're all in a good mood anyway because, as I say, 
excuse me, it's the first game that they've won. Um, and they're probably looking at me why I wasn't over excited, but I've seen it being there, done it, wore the t shirt and I know exactly what it is. And I feel great for the kids and for the parents, but they really are excited. Um, and why shouldn't they be? Why shouldn't they be? They developed so much in a short period of time. Long way to go, tough games to go, but we're back onto our team when I should be on other teams as well. So I was watching other teams and the referee as well. And as I can say, the referee was, I know your concerns will be there shaking your heads. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen to any referee. Young referee, experienced referee, none. You just get on with the game. You just heard me talking about our game today. The referee had no issues whatsoever. Well done, relaxed and probably thought, oh, I really enjoyed that game. I was made up. And that's the way it should be. Get on with the game, concentrate on the kids. Let the referee do their thing. Free kick goes towards you. The goal gets disallowed. Just get on with it. Just get on with it. Decision goes against it. Let's just get on with it. We can't do anything else but support our teams. And that was the case all around. It was nice to pick it up with the referee there who was on the girls. And I had to laugh there. We got busy in conversation. And before we knew it, we were stood on the pitch and all the girls were surrounded us with the ball. And I thought, oh dear me. And then the ref goes, get off the pitch. It was great to catch up with one of our refs. All the girls were laughing, um, <laughs> just wait for us to finish our conversation. But they're all getting in actually. So I'm sorry girls, I was on your pitch, but I did leg it off anyway. And before the kickoff, I was off the pitch. So there you go. Thanks girls for popping up with me. And it was great to catch up with Tony. I sent Tony um, some in information on our night, which we've got to mention this now. And it's our Heart of Gold uh, evening for our recognition awards. And what we mean by that, is everyone who's been on a challenge with us, the National Three Peaks, the Yorkshire Three Peaks, Marathon, Skydive, Walks, have achieved something worthwhile and honestly, it's their, uh, it'll be with them for the rest of their lives. And the memories, myself, with meeting up with them and talking to them and, yeah, having a really good discussion, it, it gives you, you know, that's heart to heart is, is fantastic and, and that's what it brought together, it brought together all our challenges on the days of in question and it really bonded everyone the drivers as well it really was you know something and is something special very very special and then our team of challenges so we put on a special night as recognition awards which they didn't expect but they'll all be there on the 23rd of november it's on a thursday evening and it's 7 p.m and it's a hotel anfield which is anfield roads by liverpool's ground and the hotel is lovely they're going to enjoy themselves and we've got a feast of entertainment for them. It's £10 per ticket and as I said, you can go out and pay £10 for a pizza. It's gone in a matter of minutes. Where's your enjoyment there? So we put on a really, really good night. Uh, and if you're a business looking for a table, obviously it's 23rd of November. Many parties are going ahead. We put on the entertainment and it, it's a steal at the price of £10. Because we have Holly Ellison who has been on the voice being the final and got really really big following great voice and she had the fastest turnaround i think it was less than two seconds for will i am on her performance on the voice and also we've got lauren clark a nice female vocalist as well in support and we've got our dj kev who's going to be a professional party dj it's looking good for everyone everyone's going to enjoy this i'm going to enjoy it and the whole world are going to enjoy it as well because it's going to be an extra special and there is an awards presentation and we've invited one or two celebrities whether they come i'm not too sure but i'd love to see them there in the future because they need to look at our our community as well and give something back because these guys and lasses are brilliant their own time doing yeah it's for their enjoyment as well but honestly when you're out and about and you talk to them and you hear the problems that some of these have got as well and they're out and about doing it for others extra special and this is for all children now because we're looking and we talk to one or two nurses and all the and it's it mental health is a big big issue you know and kids are becoming more and more self-harming within not just the grassroots but in in the um, communities themselves and we want to try put more awareness to this and we're going to team up with someone from mental health and we're going to try and get a body in and Carl's been asking me to get a million minds in here and we're, we're going to try to to the girls and, and, and do an interview with them and ask them what they're all about and what 
they can do to change people and help people and we might team up with them if they're doing with the kids but these do help adults and I've talked to one or two adults and we, you've heard may have had one on the show Colin Fulton and he speaks very very highly and he's part of our team as well getting out and about and getting his mind off things because that's what they need and people do need this and especially the kids so our heart of gold is to raise awareness and try and do some fundraising on the evening and night with raffles and auctions yeah, 7 p.m. till 11 and drink up time then but we're, we're putting on an ex, extra special night and we'll have one or two of our, these nights as well in the near future so what's this space but please try and get along to that one and as I say if you're a, if you're a business it's 80 pounds a table eight seats we could have 10 but we want it nice and comfortable if you want 10 give us a shout and we'll put 10 up there um, but you might be a little bit squashed and it's just about entertainment, you can go and have yourself a nice drink and you can party time as well. If you want to bring some Christmas decorations with you and have your work party with us, then celebrate there. That's what it's all about. Uh, we've got one or two businesses as well who have bought tables off us already. So we're happy with that. So we're over the moon. Thank you very, very much for your support. And we've got a GoFundMe page and we'll give you that link out tomorrow. We've got to write up on it now all about this and what our aims are. So people can just go on our GoFundMe and update it. And yeah, we'll have that link up there for you as well on the evening. So we've got a really, really boss night. So if you can, please get in touch with myself, man at don'ttextaline.com. Tickets are already printed, but I didn't make the printers. Um, because we had the podcast with our young commentators last night, they heard me talking about that. So I'm picking them up first thing Monday morning. They'll all be ready there. So yeah, they're all done, ready, and you can pre-order Contact myself, Mal, at don'ttextaline.com. Add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social network like sites. And Lee Christo, the lad, he's put up, he's a cracker, he's put up um, a month's worth of free training sessions. And we'll, I think, I've forgotten how many kids now, so I'll look at that one as well and let you know. So, um, yeah, good raffle prizes and auctions, one or two auctions as well. So we need to raise some funding to try and get us on the path of righteousness. As they say, get these kids motivated and get them all involved. And we want to try and wipe this out if we possibly can. Okay, we've got three minutes left of the show. Just having a nice cup of tea. No football, Premier League this weekend. It was the international last night, England, Australia. And I'll hold my hands up. I did say last night's show, I wouldn't be watching the game. I haven't watched the game and I don't even know the score because I just think it's pointless. Uh, Andy Robinson, get well soon. Um, hopefully it's not as serious as what's made out, but dislocated shoulders tend to go on and then it weakens the shoulder in the future. So it's not a very nice injury. And we've got our derby, haven't we? Liverpool Everton coming up next weekend. Well, a week Sunday. So for all the fans there, be safe. Like every game, please go out there. Let's all just enjoy the game. No, uh, the Premier League's a lot different to what grassroots football is. Um, there's a, too much passion exactly at the Premier League but we know there's a lot of passion in grassroots football as well and good luck to all the teams out and about tomorrow and our DXTL team uh, under oh, it's not our league DXTL team it's Quarry Green who are playing in the Edge Hill League so good luck, luck to them and whatever you are whatever you're doing all have fun especially to all the parents on the line remember the referee is there to develop their skills as well just get on with the game, the referee gives a decision, just go by it and say nothing, just encourage the kids. And it brings out the best in the children and they play it a lot better if they're not shouting at. I'm shouting because they can't hear me for some reason. I think I'll need a microphone too. But um, yeah, it does. And you just need to encourage the kids and let them play. But uh, yeah, we're looking forward to our next game. Looking forward to training on the Wednesday actually and see what their attitudes are like. Um, and whether rough for it, but we know we've got a tough game coming up very, very quickly indeed. So, um, yeah, our spirits will be low then for the kids. But I think they're used to it, you know, and it doesn't make any difference. As long as they enjoy playing their game and they're turning up and they're all calling me coach, well, I'm happy. Anyway, wherever you are, out and about tomorrow, and I hope today that it's all been the same. Loads of respect on and off the field of play. Um, if you need to get in touch with me about anything, please again contact me mal at don'ttextaline.com. Especially if you're concerned about a young referee or anything, and we can always pass it on 
to your county FA is not a problem whatsoever. Okay, there we go. We come to the end of our Saturday show. Hope you've had a great day today. Hope you're going to have a great day tomorrow and that's being out and about with your child or someone else's child at grassroots football. Remember, loads of respect on and off the field of play. No ref, no game. We have that there. Don't cross the line and show loads of respect and we would appreciate it. In the meantime, put your feet up, relax, and we'll see you tomorrow round about 7pm. From myself and my lane, all the team here, the grassroots show, don't cross the line, respect programme, no ref, no game, and also our hearts of gold, and don't cross the line. We wish you a very good evening. Good night, God bless.